She was never satisfied with herself in any way, you know? And she should have been. I said, honey, why don't you settle down, use the word like Betty Grable, and just be a, a song and dance girl, more or less. Having a heat wave, a tropical, tropical heat wave. Well, that I moved that thermometer proves. She certainly, certainly, certainly can. That certainly, certainly, certainly can. Oh, no, no, I want to play uh, Karamazov or one of these big, heavy parts or something like this. She said, I just don't want to sing or I just want to play like comedy or something like this. She always wanted to be something more. See, it was a, cinch, a simple thing to disguise Marilyn. Put a turban on her and we used to have a red bang of hair. You know what a bang is, I'm sure. And put it underneath the turban, pull it down, a pair of dark glasses. And we've gone many places and nobody ever looked around. Never had the slightest idea that was Marilyn Monroe. She used to call me, she'd, she'd be lonely, and she was, she was a lonely girl all the way through, and uh, not so much in the mornings, but many, many times at night, uh, she'd call me in the middle of the night, she'd just want to talk to you, talk to me, say, or anybody, you know, and she just wanted to talk, just nothing. Marilyn was such a perfectionist, she would drive herself so hard, and she would get so wrapped up, and that's one of the things that led to the sleeping pills and things like this at night, because she would go home from the studio, and you, finish, you work all day long and, and start early and then go home like six o'clock at night. And right away she'd go to bed. I'd say, Marilyn, stay up for a while. You know, unwind, have a drink or do something and, and, and get tired and uh, shake a couple of baths or do something, walk it around the street or anything. She said, I gotta get my rest. So she'd take a pill and go to bed. Then she'd wake up about 10 o'clock in the evening and she'd say, oh, and she'd take another one or two or something like this, you know? And that's what led to those pill deals and she wasn't taking them just to anything but relax. And she couldn't go on the set now and uh, be dopey because you don't remember your lines, you don't do anything. So it would take us a time to get all organized and all dressed and everything else. And by the time we wasted two or three hours, well, she was in pretty good shape, you see. <laughs> but that was a bad thing, and, uh, but it was just the way she'd work it. And she didn't mean to, but that's what happened all the time. 